Good morning. So I am going to have a mixture of the caramel and pumpkin spice nut pods, adding a little bit of this pump pumpkin caramel scone flavor. I am just waiting for it to finish doing its thing in there. I'm going to show you my order. I got this in yesterday. I ordered from Smart Cakes. Um, I bought all this. There. They don't like sponsor me or anything. I do have a discount code. I believe I'll have to look for it. I haven't used it in forever. Um, I actually was reminded of Smart Cakes from Keto Crate. I received the raspberry ones from Keto Crate, and I thought that I actually ordered. Hmm, that's interesting because I'm pretty sure I ordered the variety pack. I did, and did I only get cinnamon? I did. I'm going to have to contact them because I ordered the variety pack of Smart Cakes and they sent me the cinnamon. So I'm going to have to contact them. I've never had to deal with customer service with them before, so we will see what happens with that. Anyway, the cinnamon ones are really good. They remind me a lot of cinnamon rolls. So, so I got those, the Smart Buns, which I can't remember if I've ever tried those or not. And then I know I have not tried the... Uh, Smart muffin. So I got the pumpkin spice and the apple cinnamon. I think I'm going to try the pumpkin spice right now. So I'll have that with my coffee this morning, but I'm going to go contact them and find out what the heck happened with my variety pack. I just looked at my packing slip. It does say variety pack. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try all these and see how it all goes. Um, anyway, I will let you know about the buns when I try them and I will have a link down below where I ordered these from. I just ordered them on, off their website. They were having free shipping. I remember that's why I kind of stopped ordering from them because their shipping was so incredibly high and I hate paying for shipping. So, um, and you had to order like a whole bunch to even get free shipping, but they were having some kind of um, um, Halloween is what it was. It was a Halloween sale, but I am really disappointed about the um, cinnamon thing. So I'm gonna grab one of these pumpkin spice muffins, grab my coffee, and then we will try it on camera. Three muffins in these packs. They're a really good size. Um, the muffins, what are they? As far as net carbs, oh, they're zero carbs. Really? I, I don't even want to know the ingredients. So we have um, 26 total carbs, 13 fiber, 13 erythritol. So here are the ingredients. I will definitely do a ketone testing on this too. I, um, I'll, I'll chat with you guys in a second and tell you what I was just going to tell you, but muffin, coffee, looks fantastic. So I just took a drink of this coffee and oh my God, what a good cup of coffee. That was like the perfect combination that I did this morning. I will be having two of these today. I can tell you that. It's my birthday. I am going to just, I'm not going to go. So this is what my plan is for today. I'm just going to do a normal day. It's Thursday. Um, I'm going to take it, play it by ear as far as, um, tomorrow because uh, my coworkers are taking me out to lunch for my birthday tomorrow because I have a doctor's appointment today. We were going to go today, but I have a doctor's appointment today. So we're going to go tomorrow. Um, so I don't know. I kind of feel like I've been doing really, really good and it's my birthday and why not just celebrate? Cause my husband is probably going to want to order dinner in, um, tomorrow too. Cause we just still don't want to like go out, out. Um, I don't want him to go out <laughs> because he's the one with like the really bad health issues right now. I washed my hair this morning and it's just all today. It's crazy. Um, anyway, so tomorrow I might go, I'll probably go off plan. I don't know. It'll be planned though. If I do, it's not going to be one of those like crazy off the rails thing. So anyway, um, this coffee is amazing. Mm. So good. Okay. Let's try. Should I heat these up? I'm, I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll know as soon as I have a bite because you guys can answer me. Oh, it smells like pumpkin bread. As Erin would say, this is delightful. It's good. The only gripe I have about pretty much all of Smart Cakes is they put the dusting of like the erythritol on top not a huge fan of that, but this is fantastic. This is good. Definitely do a keto testing on this. Um, I was kind of bummed yesterday because I test my ketones after dinner and I was like 0.8 and I was like, oh, perfect day for keto testing. 
or ketone, you know, product testing. But it was already had eaten all day. And it was like, it was like eight o'clock. I was just doing on a whim. Like it was like, I just saw it sitting there and I thought, oh, why not? Let's just try them. I haven't tried this morning because I have been running late all morning. I've been editing all morning, totally got caught up in editing. Did not even realize what time it was. I had taken a shower first thing when I got out of bed, which I slept in a little bit. I've been having trouble sleeping at night. So I slept in a little bit, got up, took a shower, washed my hair, and I knew I wanted to let it dry as much as I could before I used my styler thing on it. So I was editing and I realized it was like 7.20 and I was like, oh no, I hadn't even started my coffee. Hadn't, I still haven't even gotten dressed. Um, so I came in here, booted up my computer real quick for work just so it would be on. Went and ran and did my hair. That's why I didn't really spend a lot of time on my hair. But I just, I'm going to throw it back before I go to my doctor's appointment. My doctor's appointment's not until 2. Um, so I think, so I did not even have a chance to like test my ketones or anything. But um, I definitely will save one of these to do some testing so I can let you guys know how it does on my body. Um, I think I'm going to go to grocery outlet and lunch today because tomorrow, when normally we do it on Fridays at lunch, but since we're going out to lunch with my coworkers, I'm so lucky you guys. I mean, most of my coworkers, like two of them are not even here. Then we're all working from home. So they're like working like away, away remotely. Like they have to drive down here. So I appreciate them so much. I cannot stop eating this. This is so good. But I'm going to email them real quick before I forget and let them know that they messed up because I was really kind of looking forward to more of those raspberry cream um, ones. So we'll see what they say. I'm not sure. I'm, like I said, I've never dealt with their customer service. I've never had any issues with anything. So we'll see what happens. All right. I will check in with you guys a little bit. I'll probably have another coffee. Oh, I forgot to do my macros yesterday. I forgot to post it at the end of, I did it after day one, but I forgot after day two. So I'll put it up here and let you know what I ended up um, with yesterday. It was a really good day yesterday as far as macros too. Another like almost perfect macro day. A little bit under a protein, actually pretty far under a protein. So I'm going to work on that today. Um, I'm really trying to make a list of like some really good protein sources. Protein is so hard for me to get in. I know it's easy for some people, but it's so hard for me to get in. I don't know why, but I'm going to work on that. Big situation. So... I emailed them and told them that I got a box of cinnamon in place of the variety pack and they asked me to look inside and see if I actually got cinnamon or if there's, because they said they ran out of the variety pack boxes and so they've been just using whatever boxes to put the stuff in there. But I told her, I said, I looked through everything. Everything is clearly all cinnamon. I said, I'd be happy to send you a picture or video. And they said, nope, no worries. We've already sent you another box out. Um, and go ahead and just keep the cinnamon. Because I asked them if they want me to send these back. And they said, nope, just keep the cinnamon. We'll send you a whole variety pack. And there we go. But yeah, I went through them all. And it's 100% cinnamon. So definitely really good customer service. I'm very, very happy about that. I am going to put a salad together for lunch. I am going to put one of these in. They come in like little two packs here. So I'm just gonna put both of them in the air fryer. I may just have one for dinner because I don't really have anything planned for dinner tonight. Uh, so I found these at Costco. They're caramelized onion and aged white cheddar chicken burgers. They are absolutely amazing. I don't think I showed these in a grocery haul because I think I picked them up after like I went to Costco in between grocery hauls. Here are the macros. So it's three net carbs. We have nine fat, 19 protein. So amazing protein. So three net carbs is not bad. Really good ingredients. It does have sugar in there. So it's definitely a dirty keto item. I think I'm gonna have, so I'm going to throw that in the air fryer. We'll cut that up. We'll put it on a bed of baby spinach and butter lettuce. I have some ranch dressing. I'm like craving blue cheese dressing. So I need to pick some of that up this weekend. But I do have some blue cheese crumbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those on there avocado, some green onions, and then I'm gonna have a side of um, cottage cheese as well with a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you my finished salad. Just got a box. I think it um, must be a birthday present. I'm wondering if this is one for my mom because she told me she was sending me something. So it's from Send a Cake, no idea what it is. It's from my mom, so here's their little message. I am so curious about this. Let's see, here's a little card. Oh my goodness, oh, there we go. Uh, 
Um, so here's some information about it. It says, fully remove the gift box from the shipping box and plastic packaging. Place the box on a flat surface and keep the sides clear of anything that could obstruct the sides of the box from falling down and removing the lid using the knob in a quick motion. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we will do this. Let me set up my tripod. Okay, let's see what happens. That is very cute. Can you guys hear the music? Oh, look. I don't know, hopefully you guys could see that. Those are very cool. They just started flying off. One of them, well here, here's the other one. Okay, so we got some Slim Jim meat sticks and then a little cake. Oh my gosh, I have to um, call my mom later. I'll have to text her for now. But yes, very, very cute. <laughs> oh, like it's still, like it's still like moving. How funny, I'm glad I recorded it so my husband could see it um, on video. I put it all back together so I could open it again. I wanna take a picture and then that can open it up again when my husband gets home so he can see it. This is the cutest thing. Um, you guys, I will link them down below in case you wanna do something like this for um, for somebody, but it's just from Send a Cake. So, um, and here, here's a code that you can use for 10% off. So I don't know how she found this, it's so cute. It came from like Washington and said, I think, um, something like that. Anyway, very cute. I'll have to let you know how the cake tastes. I'll have that tomorrow. Here is my finished salad. So I have the spinach and butter lettuce. One, one of the patties, here's what the patties look like after they're been in the air fryer. So one of the patties, I ended up using the whole avocado because half of it was brown and nasty. And then I put some blue cheese on there and then I have the cottage cheese. I just have a half of a cup and then I have some of that ranch dressing. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this, then I'm gonna run to Grocery Outlet. If I find anything at Grocery Outlet, I'll put that haul in this video. Hey guys, I'm at Grocery Outlet. My lunch is gonna be over soon. I'll probably have just enough time to get back to work. Actually, I didn't start lunch until 10 after, so we will be good. But I'm gonna show you what I got at Grocery Outlet. I found a few new things, and I think I'm gonna do a whole, I've been finding a ton of like new, you know, keto snacks that I'm really liking, kind of like those smart muffins and all that, so I think I may go ahead and do like a whole like video of these new things that I have found. I think I may film that this weekend um, because there's just so many new things and like a lot of them are in here right now. I found a few and I mean, I'll see if I like them. If I don't like them, I won't talk about them, but I think I'm gonna do that. Then I kinda have them all in one video. So I'm always a sucker to try creamers that I've never tried before. I mean, I am such a sucker for that. Um, and you guys all see all this in my grocery haul, so I'll go ahead and film this for my grocery haul too. But I found this Silk Unsweetened Almond Creamer and Hazelnut. Now I've said before, I don't like hazelnuts. Like I don't like to eat hazelnuts. They're like, like a, such a dry nut and they're like from Oregon and I know I should like them, but I just don't. Um, this has zero carbs, one half fat, zero protein, zero sugar, zero fiber. Um, the ingredients are um, almond milk, sunflower oil, pea protein, and then all the like preservatives, baking soda, and then like the sunflower lecithin, lecithin. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna try this. I mean, we'll see if it's creamy. On the picture it looks creamy, but that doesn't mean anything. But yeah, I'm such a sucker for, for creamers. I did pick up two of these. Um, I said I wasn't gonna do any like decorating for fall. I may totally change my mind because we are hosting Thanksgiving again, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll pull all my fall stuff out, but this is easy to decorate with and they are all the colors kind of that I have around my house And so I got two of those For some reason I am like craving turkey bacon. I don't know why and I saw this peppered turkey bacon So I picked that up zero carbs and uh, does it have sugar in there. Yes, it does have sugar. It seems like all bacon has sugar I swear Now the fun stuff that I just found now recently I found at it was like a Rite Aid I think I was going there and getting some NyQuil for my husband the other day and I saw they had those the Quest snack bars which are different than the other crust protein bars they're the ones that are more the chunkier ones and it was a sea salt and caramel I think is which kind it was and it was only I think four net carbs maybe three net carbs four net carbs it was the lower of the three different flavors of snack bars they have this one is five net carbs but it is 10 grams of protein so I think 
and it's 210 calories so I would eat this for like a meal like if I didn't have time for breakfast or lunch or something I would grab this um, I haven't tried this one this is a chocolate mixed nuts they had a whole box of these for like I have a really bad hang now oh my gosh I hate that um, for like $11.99 for I think 12 of them or something but I didn't I've never had them before so I just picked up um, three of them just so I could try them um, but this is only they had in the bigger boxes like the case of them they had the cranberry ones but they didn't have those in the individual and i just don't want to buy a box of 12 if i'm not going to like them now something i've never seen before um in any of my stores i didn't even know they had them and these are the lacanto chocolate bars so i picked up two of them they were 2.99 here at grocery outlet um they're the sugar-free 55 percent cacao so what do they have here so per serving which is half the bar, which my bar's a little bit broken, which is probably why they are here at Grocery Outlet. Um, let's see, total fat 17. We have total carbs 22, seven fiber, 12 sugar alcohols. And the sugar alcohol they use is monk fruit. Oh, so they have their own sweetener, you guys know, um, Lacanto does, it's a, it's a mixture of erythritol and monk fruit. So net carbs on this would be, um, so 22 minus seven is 15 minus 12 is three. So three net carbs for half the bar, six carbs for the whole bar. But this is a big bar, y'all. This is probably like, um, what is this? Three ounces. I don't know how big the Lily's bars are, but this is way bigger. Probably at least a half a bar bigger or something like that. So I got two of those. The other thing they had, these were $3.99. This is the chocolate bark. So I'm assuming this is a lot similar to the Chalk Zero chocolate bark, which I love. This is two net carbs, which I think the Chalk Zero ones are anywhere between two to four net carbs, depending what flavor you get. So we have um, 16 grams of fat, 13 total carbs, seven fiber, 10 sugar alcohol. Of course, the same sugar alcohol, make sure they do. But a serving size on this is two bars. I don't want to open this right now because I'm not hungry at all and I just don't want to try it. So I think um, I'll try it this weekend. If I like it, I will include it in the video um, that I will be filming. I don't see why I would not like this, honestly. You get seven bars in here and two bars of the serving. I'm just so curious what size the bars are though because the Chalk Zero bars are, are pretty big. They're pretty good size. Um, I feel like these are probably, if you put two of these together, from what I can feel through the package, if you put two of these together, it's probably the same size as the Chalk Zero. So very comparable to the Chalk Zero bars. So we'll see how they taste. Um, I haven't hasn't been that long since I've had Chalk Zero bars, so I think I can probably, um, probably easily, oh gosh, actually, these bars are pretty big, wow. Okay, we'll just see how I feel later on today. I may want this for a snack. If I do, I will have it for sure and let you guys know in this video because now I'm super curious about that. Okay, I'm trying to get a good angle here. Um, so it is almost six. I'm actually at the store picking a couple things for my husband. I had my doctor's appointment. It, they were running behind, so it took me forever to get out of there. Um, so I had that done. Now if it, I want to remind you guys of the last time I saw him was in February had my labs done and all that and my labs were great and he knows that I'm on keto and I've been on it you know had been on it for a while and my labs were perfect and he said that's all he was worried about he was just running my labs like every three months just to make sure everything was okay with changing the way I was eating um now you guys know I've been really often on keto since you know March or April since I started working at home and just all the stuff with my husband's health has just you know gotten really bad and just stress and all that and I haven't been I know I haven't been perfect and I know that's a lot of the weight gain but I told him how these last couple of months I feel like I have really doubled down on my eating and my eating has been you know been doing really good and um so he asked well what's what else is going on and so I kind of went through all the issues with my husband um, with his health and just how, you know, I'm just not sleeping at night and I just have a lot of anxiety I never had before and just a lot of stress and kind of some depression. And then he said, well, what about like your activity? Have your And I said, that's another thing. I know I am so inactive because I'm at home now. I don't have a standing desk at home. At work, I had a standing desk. Don't have a standing desk at home. I'm not walking around the building like I was at work. I'm not walking around at my lunchtime. I'm not, you know, I'm literally going from one chair that I'm sitting at to another chair at lunchtime to another chair at the end of the day. So 
And I said, so I need to, I know, I know I need to do that. And he really thinks that if I, you know, try to do that, if I try to be more active, he thinks that that'll help with the stress too. Um, he said that one of my cholesterol numbers, he said my triglycerides are amazing, perfect. One of my cholesterols is amazing and perfect. It's just one of them is not. And he said, usually that's triggered by stress and anxiety, whichever it was. I can't remember what it was, but since February, it has like doubled. And he said, normally you wouldn't see a number like that double unless there was many factors in place, not just your diet. He goes, I don't think it's just your diet that's causing that number to double like that. He goes, I think it's all those things you just talked about. Could be a little bit of your diet because maybe you are stress eating more than, and I said, yeah, there has been moments of stress eating for sure. I'm not saying I've been perfect for this entire like last eight months. I have not. Um, but these last couple months is where the frustration has come from where I feel like I am doing really good. Um, he goes, you're not eating, you know, he goes, he's like, you're, you're not doing, he goes, you're, you know what to do as far as food. I said, yes, but I don't understand everything else. And he said, well, it just, he goes, that's what he thinks that that, that cholesterol number is. And also my blood pressure was really high. And he looked back at my, he goes, you've never had high blood pressure. I said, no, I normally have perfect blood pressure. Like I have never had issues with blood pressure since I was 17 years old when I had my oldest son and I had extremely high blood pressure. And that's why I was in the hospital several times during that pregnancy. But he said, it's a lot different with pregnancy that's induced by pregnancy. And he goes, but did it go right back to normal after you had your son? I said, yes, never, ever, even within my other pregnancies ever did I have any high blood pressure and I have never do. And he could see in my records. I never had high blood pressure. Even he said, even when I was at 300 pounds, because you can see my records, I didn't even have high blood pressure like that. So he, again, he thinks that, and he, so they had me sit there for a while and they retested my blood pressure three times throughout the entire like time I was there. And it was high every time. And he, and he's like, well, because it's a one-time thing, let's just, he goes, I want you to try to go check your, and I have a blood pressure thing at home. I don't think it's very accurate, but he said like when you're at a store that has a blood pressure cuff, just try to get your blood pressure, just take your blood pressure, try to use the one at home and see what it says also. And I said, okay. Um, so that number was really high. So he's concerned about that. He's not as concerned about the cholesterol because he really thinks it is stress and exercise related. So he um, said, let's just, he goes, I don't want to give you any medication for it because he thinks, he thinks that since if I try to do these things that I'm talking about doing, then maybe I'll see a difference. Um, he said that he wants me to track my food, which I do. Um, and I told him that my son, my youngest son gave me his Apple watch for her, for my birthday. He had one he never even used, it's brand new. Um, so he gave that to me and he says, well, use that breathing app that's on there, use the activity that's on there and use that and just try to, try to make your goals. Um, he also said, where would you like to be as far as your weight is by December? And I said, well, I'd like to at least lose like 20 pounds, the 20 pounds that I've gained that I you know, that is just crazy. I said, I was at 300 pounds at one point. He goes, he goes, yes, you were at 300 pounds. So you know what to do to lose weight. And I said, I know. I mean, why? I mean, it's like, I, at one point was so close to losing a hundred pounds. Now I'm like at like 70 something, you know? So he, and I said, like, I'd like to lose 20 pounds. He goes, well, this is what I'd like you to do. I want you to focus on trying to lose a pound a week. He goes, I don't want you to try to lose more than that because then it's not sustainable. He goes, I want your goal to be a pound a week. And that's, that's what I'd like your goal to be. And he goes, at some weeks you may not have that. Some weeks you may do more, but just let's, let's do an average of a pound a week and just go from there. That's 52 pounds in, um, a year. He goes, that's, that's sustainable weight loss that I like to see from my patients who, um, who feel like they need to lose weight or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. So I have to go back again in six months to get my labs done again. And, um, and, but he wants me to keep track of my blood pressure. And if I can't like find a place to do it, he wants me just to pop in there and just have them check my blood pressure and see how that goes. But for now, he doesn't want to put me on any kind of medications or anything because he'd rather just, um, you know, he'd rather just wait because he doesn't like to give up medications for things like that. He preferred to be, to be cured by, you know, diet, exercise, that kind of thing. Now, obviously if it's ends up not working, then he'll go that route, but he, he's confident that I can do it. And so I feel like if he's given that instilling that confidence in me, then I feel like I need to do it too. So 
Um, so we'll see how it goes. So there's a little update on my doctor's appointment and it wasn't the best. <laughs> so it's a little concerning, but sometimes you need that kind of kick in the butt, I think, to um, also get you going. So I talked, I'm just gonna figure out, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna talk it through with my husband and just like, and just have him just kind of help me. And I think maybe um, I just need to make effort to go for walks and things like that not just walk around the house I think I need to make actual efforts to actually get out and walk around and go outside and breathe the air and while I can before it starts getting too cold so anyhow I'm gonna go um I don't know it's gonna be for dinner but I'm gonna go ahead and close up this video because it's already gonna be super long um but I will see you guys on Saturday or Sunday with grocery haul we'll just see what time I end up doing this is why I'm at Grocery haul has been going up on Sundays because I've been doing my grocery shopping so late. So it'll be up either Saturday or Sunday. I will try to have a what's for dinner video up Sunday or Monday. So anyway, but I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye guys.